So today I'm going to take you through installing MetaMask Wallet on Chrome browser and then at the end a little bit of how to connect to OpenSea and about, about that process a little bit. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, you want to come across to metamask.io and it's a pretty user-friendly site, nice big download button in the right hand corner, automatically detects what I'm on and I click install MetaMask. It's loading up my extensions now and I just click add to Chrome. And I agree to it adding an extension. And it's now down downloading and it's done. So it's tried to load in a default page. Uh, it's failed to do that. So I'm just going to refresh that page. Now that it brings us to this nice uh, welcome screen, it's pretty easy to get started. So if you already have a, a wallet from the past, you can restore your wallet and import that one. But we're just going to go for a brand new wallet. So we click create wallet. I am going to say no thanks to collecting data. And then just put in a password of minimum eight characters. Click yes to terms condition. So now it brings us to the secret backup phrase. Now the secret backup phrase, um, as it says here, makes it easy to backup and restore your account. Uh, it is the seed phrase or the 12 word password that will be ubiquitous across the blockchain. So you can, as long as you have this seed phrase, you can uh, restore your wallet to any computer, uh, any browser, anywhere. Uh, and get access to your wallet and, and many different applications. So it's not just on this browser locally, it's on the blockchain and it is your private key. So that's why it's got a, like a, a, a lock on it. We don't want anyone to see this. Once you click on this, I'm obviously gonna blur this out so you don't uh, know what this is, even though it's a brand new one, just to be safe. Uh, it will show you 12 words. And what you want to do is copy those 12 words to a safe place, whether it's on a piece of paper stored away somewhere or a text file that you, you're saving somewhere. You probably want to put it in multiple places if it's going to be your main wallet, but somewhere where you won't lose it and no one can find it because this will give you access and give anyone access if they have this to your wallet and the contents of your wallet. So it's very important to keep this secure. Once you have done this, then it will ask you to confirm your backup phrase just to make sure that you've got it down in the right order. So then you just go ahead and you click on the words in the order that they appear for your seed phrase. So just confirm that and you're all done. So um, that is it pretty much, it's, it's that simple. Uh, it'll take you to a screen here, it's just asking me if I want to start swapping coins straight away. So directly in MetaMask, you can swap between any token on the Ethereum network. So here is your wallet. You can see the contents of your wallet, how much ETH you've got stored in there. There is several different networks we can use. We can check out the activity. There is none there yet, of course. And at the top here is your wallet address, your public address where if someone was going to send you some tokens, you would copy and paste that and tell them that's the address that you need to send it to. And that's the basics of installing it. If you want it, if you want it to appear in the top here, just click on this little uh, plugins area, manage your extensions, click the pin, and it will put MetaMask in the top toolbar area for you for easy access there you go it's right there so now if you click it it will pop down and show you your wallet now that uh, you have a wallet if you come across to OpenSea just uh, OpenSea.io this is OpenSea you can see lots of different uh, NFTs that have been published here. You can browse around and find all different kinds of things.
And if we click on the top right, my profile, it asked me to sign in. So it can check who I am, check the wallet. And it's just a, a sign in using um, the wallet as our identity. So then we get to our, our, our profile. We can see there's nothing. We've collected nothing. It's a brand new wallet. So there's nothing in there. We've sent nothing and it's unnamed. I won't take you through all the different features, but if we come across to create and my collections, then we can see we can create a brand new collection. You can agree to these terms of service. So to agree to the terms of service, once again, we're just going to use our wallet to sign in. So signed in and it says create my collection. So I'll put in a name of OpenC tutorial. Uh, I'll leave the description. I'll go and find a logo for my collection and click create. So that's been created. Um, so it's an unapproved collection uh, because it's not verified yet. Uh, but if I want to create a new item, it's quite easy. I um, drag and drop my image here that I created before, put in a name, have the option here to uh, refer to a, an external URL link if we uh, have something we're referencing. Also a description we can put in there, you can see, welcome to an open sea. I'll just write and down here there's all different attributes we can associate with our item so here they've got an example character male but you can really put in any custom attributes that you would like or properties that you'd like associated so even you know if we have game items you could put speed uh, some stats and they've got this new feature called unlockable content so includes unlockable content that only is revealed by the owner of the item. So that's interesting. Um, in the future, they'll also have multiple uh, editions that you can have, but for now, the supply is one. And if I click create and I sign that, then it will try to, um, or it'll create, it'll list, it'll create my item, I, I'm sorry and then I can visit it. So it, it exists on OpenSea, the item is there. And it's all done. If I want to actually sell the item, then I'll show you what will happen. Um, there's a choice of set price, where you can put a fixed amount in there. I'll just put in 10 for the time being. You can choose if you want um, an ending price so uh, when it expires but if I go to high bid that's um, an auction type of uh, type of um, listing so you can put a minimum price or you can put a reserve price in so you won't sell under that amount and underneath there there's an expiration date so the auction will last a certain amount of days and I won't go through the bundle uh, but you can actually put together multiple items together if you like and sell them as a bundle which can often work out uh, cheaper sometimes if you uh, rather than selling one at a time and having to pay for the transaction each time so once you're happy with all your settings you come and post your listing and it will try to uh, initialize your account and this is where you would have to pay some gas so it's a free account but it is actually setting up a contract now on the Ethereum network. So the uh, computers on the, on the distributed network have to do some work. And so to incentivize them, you have to pay some gas. And the gas changes depending on the congestion of the network. So at the moment, the fee would be $65. It would charge me if I want to be able to uh, list and, or sell this item and have it minted on the blockchain. So it goes through some of those uh, that information here. So you can read through that yourself if you like. And of course we can always reject that so we don't 
you know, we're not spending any gas and we're not going to go through with that. Um, and I'll also show you, so that was 65. If I come across to, you know, try and do a different uh, listing, it's going to do the same thing through the same process, but the network has now changed slightly. So it's saying $63 is our gas fee. So I'll reject that as well. So you can see how the gas fee goes up and down depending on time. So it's always good to sort of try and mint things at a quiet time. I can also transfer. And if I know someone's wallet address, rather than trying to sell it, I can just send it or gift it directly to them. So you just you know, get the uh, wallet address you wanna send it to, you copy and you paste that into this address field and click transfer. And we can see this is $19 because uh, the, um, the transfer is less uh, intensive on the network and it's a uh, smaller gas fee. So this is a lot more cost effective if you're really just wanting to send it to someone rather than try and list it for auction on the marketplace. And that's pretty much it in the, of the basics of setting up your MetaMask wallet and the uh, you know, a basic intro to what OpenSea is and what you can do. Hope that helps you out. Catch you next time.